and we're back. I'm. I figured it out. Well, figuring out is not a good word for it. So there's. <sighs> I should have read that. So you're supposed to take all the stones and move this, the box to reveal the -na -na -na, the trap door. I'm a dang it. Oh, uh, I'm going to save before going down there. Yeah. Okay. Time to go down and... Oh, how do you put out the flare? Looks like as if the basement caved in some years ago. Something told to here more recently, though. Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? I'm gonna guess it's spiders. Ugh, spiders. Small places. I don't know if I can go through with this. I think I can hear the pitter patter of teeny feet. I think that's a save point. Ooh! It's a dog. Oh, flare. Day one, I begin this record still and hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what health there may be rhymes, and to that I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here, and now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Day three. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both these assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimation estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secure about two days ago in search of aid, and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiosity, I could, fi but curiously, I could not fi could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made its, this old mine its home. Although this specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat, wise policy, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beast. This is plural. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is more like a brain rather than a fracture. For some reason, for some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, a key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I dis discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is like a maze. My lessons learned. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems in Increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing and lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. I carry a general dislike for them as well. Whenever one gets in my place, especially the large variety, I have to hunt it down. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nesting in my 
nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. Oh, oh, to my surprise, I swallow it. It's not much of, it's, it's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genuine genus of the arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility tries me all the same. Well, that, that wouldn't necessarily matter if you digested it right. Drinking, drinking venom, it's not the same thing as being injected with it. Any known venom that would have affected me by now, and any, any venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I've had since the incident. By a lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. <laughs> oh, he's eating spiders. Oh, that's nasty. But I guess necessary. I intend to venture into that basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. He is writer. For four days now, well, I guess not since he only wrote a couple, eight entries in 50 days. Not so much. For four days now, I've been su surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crusty little morsels. However, Lady Luxmo let me more than once when the batteries of my torch died and I made a second life sa saving find. The creature's natural habitat is it is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I'll have attracted enough of the beast for a rather hearty meal. Gnarly. That's, that's his food. What's that? Ow! Should be okay. Day 71, my alert assumptions on the benign nature of my cell mates may have been made in error. Careful. Top safe. I'm concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no source of light. I swore my, to myself I won't leave until I heard human voices outside and spiders are so tasty. Ew. Point number three. Gross. Day 100 from the markings I've been making on the walls and my scribblings, scribbled diary entries which in the dark may amount to an eligible scrawl. Today is a hundredth day of my new life for the past month. My edible friends have become more and more aggressive and swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could be seeing the tip of the iceberg. As all fails, I am never, and I am never recovered. I hope at least my study of and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. Great names in modern science got there more than more through fluke than talent. It appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant for all great discoveries to consume their inventor. Ooh. For the size of the piece, I would say it looks like a like eggshells. Run! Finally, this must be all that's left in the basement storage. That lock looks rather worse for wear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hammer, hammer, hammer. Ooh, yeah. It's hammer time.
lighter fluid. Important for getting it out of here. Of the blood. Okay, I will eventually look at the blood. But so, yeah, it sounds like dude's been trapped here eating spiders for most of his life. That's horrific. Ugh. Ugh. Day 200! It has been some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the last eight months, partly due to my enforced retreat from their basement territory. Not too long ago, their behavior became overtly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade my, the main entrance to their lair and secure myself within one of the smaller rooms above it. The only one in operate only one with an operational locked door. The other reason is I have been recovering from a minor operation which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of an aesthetic. Even if I did have any aesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent at my work, so aesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I trust my pen knife to do the job just as well. Ugh, oh, this guy's a survivor. The procedure itself was elementary, though a simple amputation of non-vital organs. And I began to notice a thick glue-like substance forming on my tongue, and I was forced to accept that it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. Day 300, another century of days comes and goes. It seems so long since I escaped here. At some stage in my, since my last entry, I attempted to return from whence I came. That from which I originally was f fleeing seems a, a fate far worse than the one I now face. However, in t the time since I arrived, the larger from the mine, larger mine system, a cave-in has occurred, blocking any further progress. Has forced to return it, except for her and life has in store for me. And here, my aggressive little friend scratching on the door of my, to my cell. My question is, how does he know it's been 300 days? He's been locked up here. Oh, he has been writing a lot. So he, how's he write without any light whatsoever? Very strange. 
Well, I hope this game isn't about me flipping off spiders for years. That would be nasty. So a little more. Eggs, teeny spider, medium spider, big spider. Ooh, largest spider I've ever seen it's with its guts carved open. Looks like it's uh, dinner time for uh, for Mr. Anonymous. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna I'm gonna save just in case I get eaten by spiders. I don't want to get eaten by spiders because that would be horrible. That's a, I think that's worse than dog bites. Getting eaten by a dog, getting eaten by spiders. I think I'll take getting eaten by a dog. That seems not quite as horrible. This hole isn't large enough for man. Not that I'd go anywhere near it, if, even if it was what burrowed it out of this tunnel. Oh, they got to him. I'm not jumpy. Are you jumpy? I'm not. Beef jerky. Okay. What did I actually gain from all that? Oh, I got the key. I can go back. That's right. Good measure. There's dogs out here. I don't want to deal with dogs. I'm gonna sneak along and sneak, sneak, sneak. You know, honestly, those dogs should have found me by now. They can probably see better in the dark. They can probably smell me. It's bad news bears all around. Oh, I thought that was like something there. <gasps> it's like. <gasps> No. Wait, what? Why is there light? Close this door. Not that it probably matters. Uh, 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 lock the door. What? No! No! No, 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 no! I just went around this hill! <laughs> no.
just want some black powder, right? supposed to do out of the back work area. Oh, this. I love my workshop. It is too of a great hunting ground to let. It is, a, it is too great a hunting ground to let others gorge their faces. Oh, oh, oh I see here. This is actually the code. One cannot help but feel for those without such delicate mousy morsels on which to munch for red eight ravenous ravenously of their flesh today and can, shall continue to do so this is possible thanks only to the button pad I installed in the door and yet red's mind is working on something somewhat backwards today so eight four one two okay well that helps I totally thought I could go up those. It's like, oh, a ramp. What's up here? Nope. No ramp. Okay, back to the workshop. Eight, four, one, two. Okay. 
eight, four, one, two. Perfect. Save point. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day this time. Um. Yeah, definitely gonna call it a day. <laughs> well, thank you again for watching, and I. Forward to next time. Take it easy.